Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel where we post daily videos on cutting edge technologies. We all know that building UI components can be a slug and it is a very time consuming process in order to get everything according to your demands and needs. And this is where OpenUI comes into action. OpenUI lets you describe UI using your imagination and then see it rendered live. It is a tool which enables you to create user interfaces just with the help of text prompts and images and everything will be rendered right in front of you. It makes the front-end development a bit more fun and a bit more faster as well as more flexible. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can install it locally on your Linux operating system and then we are gonna test it out together. Alright, let's quickly see how you can locally install the OpenAI on your Linux operating system. And in order to do that, I've created a new folder called OpenUI in which I'm going to be cloning the GitHub repo. And in order to do that, head to your browser and you have to go to this link which is the official GitHub repo of the OpenUI. Here it contains all the files and all the folders needed to run it. So in order to clone the repo, simply click on this code button right here and copy the repo URL. Once this is done, now I'm going to open a new terminal window from inside this folder which I've just created. And once the terminal is opened, I'm going to run the command git clone and then paste the URL which I've just copied. Hit enter and you will see that it will start cloning inside the open UI. And once the cloning is done, now you will see that inside the folder open UI, we have a new folder called open UI which contains all of these files which were actually present in the github repo all right so in order to install it let's scroll down a little bit to view all the steps which are present on the official repository here it is saying that you can also run open ui locally and use the models available to olama install llama and pull a model like code llama okay so these are the steps firstly we have cloned the repository now we have to go inside the cd folder and then the backend folder so i'm going to open the terminal right here Firstly, I'm going to say cd open UI to move inside the folder. Then I'm going to say cd backend in order to move inside the backend folder. Once this is done, now the next step is to run the command pip install dot to install all the requirements and dependencies needed for it. So I'm going to say pip install dot hit enter and you will see that it will start downloading all the dependencies and all the requirements which are needed to run the backend. All right, so once all the requirements and dependencies have been successfully installed, now we are going to move towards the next step. But before that, I'm going to clear my terminal. Okay, so the next step after installing the dependencies is to export the OpenAI API key. And you have to paste your OpenAI in place of these access. So I'm going to copy this command from here, head back to my terminal, and I'm going to paste the command here and then after equal to sign, you have to paste the OpenAI API key. Once this is done, simply hit enter and it will set the value for the OpenAI API key. And don't worry about the API key, I'll rework it before uploading the video. Alright, so once we have set the OpenAI API key, now we have the last step which is to run this command. So I'm going to copy this from here. Head back to my terminal and I'm going to paste the command which is python-m open UI. Hit enter and you will see that it will start running different servers in order to run the backend. And once all of this is done, you will see that Ubicorn is running on a URL. Simply hold the control key and left click on it and it will redirect you to a new tab where the open ui interface will appear here you can see that on the left hand side we have the chat history option just like chat gpt then from here you can drag and upload a screenshot or the image of the page which you want to replicate here are certain example prompts which you can give to it and it will provide you the answer and on the top you have three different views first is the desktop view then we have the tablet view and then we have the mobile view and this is a very cool feature for the users who want to create the front-end applications that may run on different platforms and this interface is very much like the web interface which is also available so now let's go ahead and test it out firstly i'm gonna go with the example prompt which they have provided so firstly i'm gonna go with this one which says design a carousel slider for featured articles and you can see that in just a matter of few seconds it designed a carousel slider for featured articles right now there is nothing in it and once it provided you the interface it asked you for changes to the current ui so if you want to make any changes to the current ui 
So let's say if I want to change the background color, I'm going to say change background color to light blue. Hit enter and you will see that it will change everything into blue color. And if you want to make further changes to it, you can say change the text color to black and make it uppercase. And you will see that in just a matter of few seconds, now it has changed the color of the text and has changed it to uppercase. Okay, so now let's test the other example. This is to design a to-do list app interface with task checkboxes and an add task form. If I select it, you will see that in just a matter of few seconds, it will start adding different components. And this is how the application will look like. And this is also in the working state. So you can see that once I click on it, it changes the border. So now if you want to add any image or any icon to it, let's say I have this icon for the sticky note and I want to add it into the interface. So I'm simply going to copy the link from here. I'm going to come back and in order to add the icon, I'm going to ask it to add the icon in front of to-do list from the following URL and here is the URL. Hit enter and you will see that it will start adding the element and this is the icon which we have added. And the best part is that Currently, if I'm making any change in the UI, all of the components are being changed. But if you want to change only a single element, then you can select this option that says comment on the elements in the HTML. Click on it and then move to a particular element. So let's say if I want to make this thing bigger, I'm going to click on it. It will ask me how do you want this to change and I'm going to say make it bigger. Hit enter and only that component will be changed and you can view all of this in the desktop view which is the current view you can also view it in the tab view and in the mobile view which is really cool so all of these were the built-in examples what if you want to create front end for an application that looks similar to another application then you can do that too so let's see how you simply have to click on this drag a screenshot or ui button and upload your image so I've taken a snippet for the front page of the Google, which is quite simple. Let's see if it is able to replicate it or not. Simply hit enter and you will see that it will start creating different components for you. So here is the Google image. Here is the search bar in which you can type anything and hit enter. And here you also have this icon which was present on the Google image. And you can always go ahead and change the elements by clicking on this ask for changes for the current UI. You can change the background color, you can add different elements. But this was a quite simple example. So let's see how you can make some complicated web pages using this tool. Okay, so I'm going to be recreating this website. So I've taken a snippet of it and I've uploaded it right here. Now simply hit enter. And then in just a matter of few seconds, it will start adding different components on the user interface. So firstly, here we have this title. Then it has added the other components. We have the button. We have this image. Of course, it will not add the exact image right here, but it has provided us a page for the image. And this is how the interface looks like. So in just a matter of two or three seconds, we were able to create this front end, which was of another website. Now let's quickly make few changes to it. So firstly, I'm going to ask it to change the background color to white. Okay, so it has changed the background color to white. But you can see that there is no navigation bar on the top. So now I'm going to say add navigation bar on the top. Okay, hit enter and you will see that it will start adding a navigation bar on the top. And the best feature is it has kept in mind the color scheming of the interface. So if we have a button right here in the blue and white combination, it has added the navigation bar in the same color. But I want it to be in black color, so I'm going to change only this component. Here I'm going to say change the background color to black. Okay, hit enter and you will see that it will change the background color of the navigation bar to black. And everything else will be the same. Now if you want to make further changes, you can do that too. So if I want to change anything else, I'm going to say add the bottom navigation bar with the social media links in the form of icons. Hit enter and you will see that it has added a bottom navigation bar with the icons for the social media links. But it has removed the top navigation bar. So now I'm going to say add the black top navigation bar while also keeping the bottom navigation bar. Now let's see how it responds. Okay, so it has created a top navigation bar and everything else is gone. So I'm going to say revert the changes and let's see if it understands this or not. Okay, so it has changed it, but everything else is missing. And this brings us to another feature provided by OpenUI, which is to view the chat history here on the 
top right corner you can see we have a button with the chat icon that says view the chat history if you click on it you will see all the different codes for the chunks which we have provided to it so firstly this was the original page then i asked it to change the background color to white so here is the code for that then i asked it to add the navigation bar here is that then i asked it to add the bottom navigation bar with the social media links here is the code for that and then this was for the other prompt which I have provided to it. So if you want to have the code for any particular scenario, you can always refer to the chat history and copy the code from there and then you can use it anywhere in your website. Okay, so this was the entire web page. But if you want to copy any login form or sign up form, in order to do that, you simply have to take a snippet of it. So I'm going to open my snipping tool and I'm going to copy this and save it somewhere. Now I have uploaded the selected image, hit enter and you will see that in a matter of few seconds it has created the entire login form for us which is the exact replica of the form which we have provided to it. And in addition to just having the HTML code you also have the option to get the GX code and if you click on it you have the option to convert it to PDF, React as well as web components. So now we are going to test it out with another example. So if you want to replicate a front end that looks like this here we have a search bar we have an icon we have a button we have link and all of these things let's see how it will create it all right so i've uploaded the screenshot right here let's run it and you will see that in my matter of few seconds it will start adding different components which are present on the screenshot which we have provided to it so here is the logo for the company it is provided as the subscribers the number of total videos which are present on it here is the button for the subscribe then here it is adding the image which actually corresponds to this image for the video then similarly it is adding multiple cards displaying different videos which are uploaded on our channel all right so right now you can see that if i hover upon any of these cards nothing is happening so if i want to make changes only to this particular element then i'm gonna use this arrow right here and i'm gonna select the part for which i want to perform changes and then I'm going to prompt it that borders should be black and bold upon hovering. Click on the submit button and then in order to go back to the original state, click on this button. And now once everything is loaded, now if I hover upon any of these elements, you can see now the borders are black and bold. So in this way, you can use the open UI tool to create front end for your website and web pages in absolutely no time. This tool can also be useful for prototyping as it will easily generate the application frontend according to the requirements that you will specify to it in plain language. So I'll highly encourage all of you to try it out for yourself and see what an amazing tool it is. But that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.